Francis Neros. I'm the city treasurer here in San Francisco, and I'm here today to talk about a very important issue, which is exactly financial security for all people who work in San Francisco. Our new initiative, Current CSF, which we're launching today, builds upon our pioneering Bank on San Francisco program, which has provided over 70,000 bank accounts to low-income folks living here in San Francisco. However, in spite of that good news, we know that an alarming number of individuals and families continue to remain locked out of the financial mainstream. You may be surprised to learn that nearly 70,000 working households in San Francisco even today do not get paid by direct deposit. What is most disturbing to me is that 68% of low-income working households are still today paid by cash or paper checks. Here's what that means. Paper paychecks take time to deposit. It means a delay in people getting their salary. And for many folks, that's much needed income. You also may not be able to get your check if you're sick, on vacation, or in an emergency situation. And workers who cash their paychecks are also very vulnerable to theft or loss. Most importantly, workers who receive paper paychecks often have no choice but to use check cashers and other fringe financial services, costing the average family more than $1,000 a year in fees. That's why we believe it's time to recognize that this simple paper paycheck can oftentimes be a dangerous way to pay some of our employees. Direct deposit delivers pay safely, immediately, and without hefty fees, and it reduces waste and pollution. Best of all, it provides access and opportunity to working San Franciscans, access to the financial mainstream, and, and the opportunity to build assets, increase stability, and become financially secure. To deliver this access and opportunity, we have created the, our program, Current CSF, an innovative public-private initiative that brings together businesses, nonprofits, payroll companies, and financial service organizations in partnership with the city. We've also found that even today, approximately 20% of businesses here in San Francisco don't even offer direct deposit to their employees as an option, creating yet another barrier to those folks' ability to agree to achieve financial access. Our goal is to make San Francisco the first city in the country which eliminates paper paychecks entirely, a 100% paperless payday in San Francisco where every business offers and promotes direct deposit and every employee is enrolled in direct deposits. This is how we strengthen financial security for folks who work in San Francisco. And, it, and with this program, we're asking every employer in San Francisco to join the city in working towards this goal. We're excited about this program, and I'm excited today to have a number of folks who will be working with us on this program be able to speak to you about our effort. First and foremost, we have the strong support of the mayor of the city and county of San Francisco. Please join me in welcoming Mayor Lee. Thank you. Thank you. And I, uh, as someone who's worked in the community for many, many years, uh, have a lot of friends, be they progressive or moderate, conservative, but we've all shared uh, a theme uh, when we work in a city like San Francisco where the word empowerment is really a strong word, one that if we use uh, that word, we are serious about uh, building communities, uh, making sure people's lives, whether they're immigrants or people who've been here a long time or working class families, are empowered more by their life in San Francisco. And any mayor who is worth their uh, time in the city has to dialogue to all the members of San Francisco and any city that we manage of how we can do better in managing our financial affairs. That is critical during these times. So I'm very happy to join our uh, U.S. Uh, Small Business Administration, who's here today, our Citibank, uh, who's here as a great leader with us, our United Way, our Chamber of Commerce, which I spent a great deal of morning yesterday uh, involved with, but even our local companies like Recology and Walgreens and, and many others, uh, rickshaw bags, which I, I've been visiting a lot because they're making things here in San Francisco, and all the different small businesses that dot our whole canopy of businesses that are, I think, sharing a really great theme today. 
how can we talk more to our employees and our businesses about being financially smart, about empowering themselves. And you know, in those early years, I've always thought empowerment meant getting more money, that it was that simple. Just give me more money and I'll be empowered. But I think if you talk to everyone here, it's not so much about getting more money as it is about managing that money smarter. And there are books and books and books that talk about this. I even read that book uh, about that guy who's written three versions of it uh, as to how you can manage your money smarter and be, and in that smartness, empower yourselves around the systems that we have and not allow yourselves to be victims of predatory pitfalls. And you know what I really like about Jose is that he's thinking way into the future with us, with our school district and with all of our other partners that want to educate our kids about being financially smart. That's a great thing because that means we care about their future. And it's programs that we've introduced with the support and the uh, introduction with all the other mayors that have, are here this week, uh, this week as part of the National League of Cities where we talk about what we're doing with uh, things like Bank on San Francisco or smart money networks, those kinds of programs that Jose has been leading through his Office of Financial Empowerment. And now today, to uh, thoroughly uh, complete uh, another great program of Current C, which says something very, you would think that that's something kind of pretty basic. Yeah, why not go to a complete direct deposit ability? But there are still thousands of working families in our city that have not done that, they don't know the benefits of it. They uh, have that habit, as I used to before I went to my direct deposit, of being very comfortable standing in line in my bank and trying to get that check. And, and, and then thinking, well, it was, it's the bank's policy to make me wait three days or four days and have that transferred. Whereas in reality, there have been tools out there that we could use. And guess what? If you use those tools like direct deposit or uh, the uh, bank card as we're introducing today as well. You have the other benefits of preventing some 50 tons of paper being used on these uh, checks themselves. That's great for our environment. Um, who says, uh, and I, I made this speech yesterday at the chamber, who says we're not conserving water? Of course we are. We're just doing it in different ways. And when we can prevent paper from being used, that's 450,000 gallons of water that is being spared from using those paper checks. So it's smarter, it is money management, it is preventing ourselves and all of the people who want to live in a successful city and be successful themselves from falling into pitfalls, uh, predatory pitfalls that are out there waiting for people who are not thinking about being smart with their own money. So. I want to say today that I enjoy working with everyone here because it's making us smarter. We need a more enlightened uh, citizenry about managing their money. While everybody's attempt is to make more money, there is vast, vast savings and very important uh, efficiencies that can be had by managing the way uh, we manage the current uh, income. And I'm doing that. I want the city to do that. The city employees are at about just under 90% of direct deposit. That additional 10% will go a long way, along with the 67,000 also working households that Jose has mentioned, will go a long way in getting to the prevention of 50 tons of paper and 450 gallons of water being used. But ultimately, it is financial uh, uh, smartness, it is financial solutions that are out there that are ready for us to use that will make us more efficient as a city. So uh, thank you very much for joining us today and uh, hopefully this word gets out that uh, we'll be a much more efficient city for all those reasons. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you so much for being here for your incredible support. At this time, I'd like to introduce Steve Falk, the President and CEO of the San Francisco Chamber of Commerce. Steve. Thank you. 
Thank you, Jose. Thank you, uh, Mayor. The Chamber of Commerce of San Francisco fully supports, not only supports this program, but is going to actively promote this program. Chamber members represent 250,000 employees in this city. Our goal is to get every single one of those employees on some type of ele electronic payment, whether it be direct deposit or bank card or a payroll card, some form of electronic payment. And there are a whole host of reasons why that makes good business sense. As the mayor said, it obviously saves paper, but it saves time, it saves process, c computer processing time, and the time and effort to replace a lost payroll check uh, is, is some significant number, eight, 10, $12 per lost check to replace a, a, a check. So the savings are clear to employers. And while 100% might sound like uh, an unreachable goal, the Chamber of Commerce is one perfect example. We have two dozen employees, and after we partnered up with the treasurer's office, I thought we better look at, at what we do at the chamber. Well, sure enough, we had one employee still receiving a paper check. We talked to that employee, we talked about the benefits. We now have 100% of chamber employees on electronic, and in the whole scheme of things, that's 24 employees, but we eliminated the entire paper check process. And just imagine that benefiting tens of thousands of employers across the city. That's our goal, and Jose, we're committed to get it done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Steve. Thank you very much, Steve, and thank you again to the San Francisco Chamber of Commerce. Now I'd like to introduce Ann Wilson, CEO of the United Way of the Bay Area. Ann? Thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you Treasurer Cisneros and Mayor Lee. It, United Way of the Bay Area is very proud to be a partner in this initiative. Uh, first of all, I will say, as an employer, we also have 100% of our employees <laughs> on direct deposit, and we're very proud of that. Uh, but also, it, this initiative is very relevant to our work in creating pathways out of poverty for the one in five households here in San Francisco, here in the Bay Area, who struggle each and every week to make ends meet. And we know that having a primary banking relationship is an important step in the pathway to financial stability. And so we are very proud to partner and to activate our nonprofit network, our partners in uh, Earn It, Keep It, Save It, our tax assistance sites who are working with low wage workers, our Spark Point Financial Coaching Center, our 211 helpline, all of these tools to get the word out to uh, workers to, to ask for direct deposit at, from, the, from their employers and to activate our tremendous network of uh, employers with whom we work in uh, serving our community. So we are delighted to be here today and delighted to do everything that we can to activate our networks to make sure that in fact we meet our goal of being the first paperless payroll city in America. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ann, and thank you to the United Way of the Bay Area. Now I'd like to introduce Bob Anible, Global, Global Director with City Community Development. Bob? Thank you very much, Mayor, Jose. Um, Citibank is delighted to be a partner in this initiative. Um, we've worked with the city on a number of initiatives around financial inclusion and about bringing down the cost of access to finance, barriers to access in the city. This program is particularly endearing to us. We're an employer. We also are a banker to thousands of businesses in the city. And we believe there's an enormous opportunity here for businesses to do themselves better, if operate more efficiently by going into direct deposit. But also, importantly, it's a touching point for their employees who today may not have a bank account. And we believe that employers can play a very important role in connecting employees with banks, whoever they bank with. And that itself becomes a starting point for a relationship that each citizen in the city should have the opportunity to have. Um, we're excited to see this as a continuity of the Bank On program. I think it will support that. We've been a keen supporter from the start of kindergarten to college and a number of other initiatives that the city and the, uh, the treasurer's office has led. And particularly this one, because we believe that in this time there's no reason for someone to be paying to discount a check. And those who receive a check are so often having to go and use alternative sources of financial services to provide a way of cashing that check. So instead, they'll get their money immediately, safely, and cheaply. 
So we congratulate the city on launching yet another innovative program. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. At this time, I'm pleased to introduce Elizabeth Eccles, the Regional Administrator for the United States U.S. Small Business Administration. Elizabeth? Thank you, Treasurer Cisneros and Mary Lee. It's a real pleasure to be here today. Um, as President Obama's West Coast representative for small business issues, I am particularly happy to be here at the launch of Currency SF. This is a fabulous program. As you've heard, it's an opportunity for both businesses and employees to benefit through an innovative approach to payroll. Currency SF will also help to make small businesses more efficient and be able to focus more on the bottom line, those, those productive areas that they so need to focus on as opposed to the administrative work of, of writing checks. And we look forward to incorporating Currency SF in our training program so small businesses are aware of this opportunity and then can make it available to their employees. It's important for small businesses to be focused on their bottom line because we know that small businesses are what's driving our economy forward. They're creating two out of three jobs, um, and in fact, they uh, represent over 99% of the state's employees. So in order to keep our economy growing again, and we've seen 3.7 million jobs added in the last 23 months, uh, we need to keep this momentum going. And in order to keep this momentum going, we need to get behind programs like this that are innovative and support entrepreneurship and support small business growth and job creation. Currency SF is an initiative that can be summed up in one word. And the, the mayor said it best, empowerment. This is an opportunity to empower both small businesses and their employees to improve their productivity and Im improve their lives. And again, congratulations to San Francisco for taking a leadership role to put this program out there, and we look forward to being a part of it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Elizabeth. At this time, I'd like to introduce Paul Giusti, Community and Government Affairs Manager at Recology, one of our first champion founder partners in this program, Current CSF. Paul? Good morning. Recology, Sunset Scavenger, and Golden Gate Recycling have had the privilege of being the recycling collector here in San Francisco for almost 100 years now. As an employee-owned company with a long history in San Francisco, we feel a sense of civic responsibility to San Francisco, its residents and businesses. Moving to a paperless payroll system is a great way to make a positive impact on financial security for working San Franciscans. It's safer, more reliable, and can help businesses become more productive. As an employee-owned company, we expect a lot out of our fellow employee owners, and in return, we feel we have an obligation to provide those workers with good benefits, uh, that helps them have a good standard of living. The, and that includes the ability to have their paycheck automatically deposited in their bank accounts or onto a payroll card. There's a direct cost savings over live checks, but that savings really a se secondary benefit to us. Employees that manage their money better are happier and more reliable employees, and that's better for our customers. Recology can wholeheartedly recommend other businesses to join this initiative and work towards the goal of a paperless payday in San Francisco. The initiative respects labor, helps protect the environment, and saves us money, and that's just good business sense. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. And again, I want to thank Mayor Lee and all of our great partners in current CSF. I'm excited about the opportunity to bring greater financial access and opportunity to the city and the people that work here. And I particularly want to thank our generous supporters who made this program possible. It's the Citibank Community Foundation, the Levi Strauss Foundation, Visa, and CFED. Um, and I would like to recognize Visa for their crucial support as well. Nathan Naiman and Jill Goebel of Visa are here with us today. Let's hear for Visa. <laughs> Bob Freeman in, and CFED have been strong supporters, and Bob Freeman with here, is here with us today. Thank you, Bob. 
I'd also like to personally recognize Merle Lawrence with the Levi Strauss Foundation, who's here with us today. Thank you, Merle. Merle and Levi Strauss have been great supporters of our asset building work, and I'm excited to be able to announce that the Levi Strauss Foundation has just renewed their support for current CSF, and their new grant will allow us to continue work in building our direct deposit initiative to scale. So again, thank you very much, Merle. I would also like to recognize the partnership we're developing with payroll service providers, payroll card companies, banks, and credit unions. These institutions will work with us to develop high quality, affordable products and services that employers can use to make their electronic employee payroll easy for their employers, and many of them are with us here today. Let's hear it for our financial institution partners. I also want to recognize the great work of the SF Department of the Environment, who's working closely with us to re reduce waste and to help us go green. Uh, Julie Brandt is with us today, and thank you to the uh, SF Department of the Environment. I also, before I close, want to draw your attention to our new website, www.currencysf.org. It's right here next to me. I urge all employers in the city to go to this website, join the current CSF campaign, and start taking advantage of the tools, resources, and assistance you'll find there. We're offering an employer toolkit, marketing materials, tips and tools for communicating with employees and increasing direct deposit. We're providing best practices, expert advice, and more and more to make it easy for every single employer in the city to find a way to move their employees to the safest way to get paid, namely direct deposit and electronic pay. We want every employer to join from the smallest employer in San Francisco to the largest, and I cannot emphasize this enough. Whether you're considering direct deposit for the first time or you've already made great strides towards full participation, there is a role for you in our current CSF campaign. We want you to join with us to make this a successful initiative across the entire city. Why? Because current CSF is good for business and it's good for our workers. It's good for the environment and together we can build financial security and achieve a paperless payday right here in San Francisco. Thank you so much for your time today and thank you for your support of Currency SF.